Two games left of the season. We're still in with a shout of qualifying for Champions League. Things are getting a little bit complicated. And along the way, we won a game 9-3. Welcome to a very potentially special Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the DP Dome and we have two massive games for you today against Frosinone away from home and then I think we're at home to Sassuolo. We absolutely are. Since you were last here, it's been a little bit up and down. We checked out Inter and Parma last time. We beat Napoli 2-1, which was great. We drew against Medina which was rubbish, nil all, absolutely toothless. And then we went to Bologna and did this to them. We absolutely destroyed them and I have no idea why. They kept passing back to the keeper and Garan Kowal kept saying thank you very much and smashing it home. He was on fire, four goals and an assist for him. Uh, Chauhuna was hard done by not to get a 10 out of 10 as well uh, with a hat trick for him. Youngster Del Grosso on the score sheet. Also, and Vasic coming up with a goal. It was absolutely insane. And uh, even Bologna got into the act with three goals. It, it was an amazing game. And uh, at some point, I may just post the highlights of that one for everyone to watch because it was absolute insanity. But the permutations, as things stand, we are in fifth place with two games left to play. We have qualified for the Europa League. So we will definitely be playing European football next season, which A, is a massive achievement for my second season in Serie A. So well done to all of us. Yay. It's also absolutely terrifying, but we are not out of the hunt for Champions League. The coefficients have Italy in second behind England and ahead of Spain. So we may get an extra Champions League spot. That's particularly interesting because we're only four points behind Juventus who are in fourth. If another spot opens up, we should get it, I think, uh, given that Napoli can't really catch us from here. The other thing that's interesting is Juventus, if we have a look at their schedule, they have a Europa League final to play against Aston Villa who are from England. So an English team and an Italian team both in the Europa League final, which will help the coefficients. I don't know what's going on with Champions League, but we might just have a cheeky little look at that if we can. Uh, I'm just going to check Milan's schedule because I assume they've been playing Champions League football. They have. Uh, and if we go ahead to the final there, uh, it's France and Spain. So that hurts. We kind of want uh, PSG to win over Real Madrid, but that is a big ask. And if we go back, back a little bit to the semi-finals who was in that uh, there was an English team so maybe maybe we can squeak through by the skin of our teeth for Champions League I'm not that bothered to be honest but if Juventus drop any points we're ready to pounce we need to get a result against Frozenone though to keep things going our way and we've made some changes to the squad uh, Juventus have drawn against Como so they have dropped some points uh, they are four points ahead of us. If we get a win, it's down to one point as things stand. And if they drop more points, which isn't likely because they play Monza on the last day of the season, yeah, uh, we could jump them and finish as high as fourth, which would be madness. But if we go through here to our team selection, I'll show you what's been going on. Ranikia has picked up an injury and he's out for three months. So he's going to miss most of preseason, which is really... Not good because he's been one of our best players on this run in. Uh, but also Garen Kowal has been on fire. He's now got 13 goals in the league, one in the cup, uh, 14 goals for the season. He has come really, really good and he's loving life playing up front as a deep lying forward for some reason. And I'm not even training him to do it. Maybe, just maybe, I should have been doing that. Uh, striker, deep lying forward on attack. That's what we want. Learn how to do that, Garen, because you've been knocking it out of the park, sir. So the squad for today is a little bit makeshift. It's not ideal, and you'll notice a, a few bits of oddness. But Freak Dylan Gold, Gallo, Maturo, Mercandali are the centre-backs with Perotti beside them. He's back from suspension. Hooray. Adopo and Velukovic in midfield. Velukovic is going to have to play as a DM because of that injury to Ranikia. Also, Segre. Uh, and Abansky not fully fit. Abansky's not great as a defensive mid. Ratnik can do it. 
uh, but he's on a yellow card and we want Walu to be able to go in there and kick the crap out of everybody. Saidi, Vasic and Chauna uh, on the right wing and then Kuel playing up front. Uh, Saidi with the same problem we had with uh, Chimichangas or whatever his name was last season. Just not getting it done for us on the left wing. Everyone we bring on off the bench does better. I think he might be done and I'll be looking to move him on in the summer and bring in a youngster. Basically, I want a squad full of 18-year-olds. I don't really care how we do in Europa League or whatever level of Europe we wind up in. It's all gravy. And the league structure of that means we'll be rolling in cash. Even if we lose every game, it's huge. This is a big rivalry match for us. Frozen are one of our rivals. The fans will love us forever if we can pick up a victory here. And I really want one because of the, the European implications. If we're going to make Europe, let's go Europe proper and hit Champions League, make all the money, and come back the next season even stronger. I don't expect us to do well in Europe, but I'm very excited for what should be our highest ever league finish. I think the highest Paloma, I was looking at this the other day, I think the highest this team has ever finished in Serie A is fifth. So if we can better that, it would be brilliant. Even if we equal it, it'll be brilliant because this squad is basically newly assembled. And that's a great start. I've just been throwing him under the bus, but Saidi has picked up our first goal of the match and given us an early lead, which is absolutely fantastic. Great balling from Chiuna off the corner, goes near post, uh, it gets deflected. Merkin Bali spots the man, hits it in, keeper can't get his hands to it. And Saidi has picked up his first goal in forever. And that is exactly the kind of start we were after. The main problem is, as you saw from a 9-3 result, we're a little bit leaky at the back, probably because both of our fullbox, uh, fullbox, that's not a word, fullbacks are playing on attack instructions. Unless we're playing a much better team, and then I have been switching them to that defend instruction. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Everyone's still learning this tactic, so the fact that it's worked at all is a miracle. But that 9-3, I was tempted to turn that into an episode, even though I promised these last two games of the season because it was amazing. But I wasn't recording. I wasn't going to chance replay <laughs> on camera. Uh, but yeah, I think at some point I will just post the highlights with some kind of soundtrack because it was epic. 9-3 might be one of the biggest wins I've ever had playing with them. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't switch to 2D highlights or speed through or anything crazy when I'm playing the in between bits. I played at normal speed, just like this. And uh, thoroughly enjoy myself. Uh, there's usually, especially in those nil draws or when you take a bad beat, there's a lot more swearing than you see on camera. But that's to be expected. That's a cheeky little effort from Vasic from miles out. He's also scored a goal, and I didn't even talk about it, but it was an assist for Perazzi. We've got an assist for Mercandali as well. Everything is going along swimmingly, and if we can pick up another goal here with 10 minutes to go before half time, we'd be tempted to say, this game's done and dusted a dopo with an effort from miles out, and he's hit the woodwork now. Nassing stand one point behind Juventus. And that other thing that 9-3 result did for us is greatly improve our goal difference, even though we're playing this real shot. This is a great move from Kuala, he shoots. Keeper's made a good save, sticking his big fat leg out and denying Kuala the goal, but as I mentioned before, Garen Kowal has been a revelation on this running. He's just played some amazing football. And yeah, it, what a difference. Michael Tuna was miles offside there and it took a dog's age for that flag to go up, which is nuts. But we head into half time, two goals to the good, and everything is looking rather promising for us. Uh, let's see. Great stuff so far. You showed everyone why we're the best team in this rivalry. Yeah, we're going to play up the rivalry. Absolutely we are. Let's cheer everybody up and off we go. The other thing I've been doing while Kowal's been on fire playing up front is Evandro's been coming on off the bench. We're usually pushing Kowal out to the wing to keep him involved because he's been on fire. But I'm not sure which wing is the best option for him just yet. So that's 60 minutes and that means it's change o'clock and we're going to have a little fiddle. So Chuana's going to come off and Evandro is going to come on up front as discussed and we're just leaving him as a deep line forward which I'm also not training him to play which is probably a mistake uh, while he's actually playing quite well in defensive mid I don't see the need to make any other changes but I would like to bring a Bansky on and get some game time into him Vasic is playing well we'll give it 10 minutes and then we'll come back and make another couple of changes and then we'll make 
a couple more with about 10 minutes to go. Yeah, that's a really cheeky effort from QL. Stung the hands of the goalkeeper. Adopo was offside from a follow-up, but my word. When you're on, you're on. And his match rating isn't reflecting it, but he's having quite a good game. I am going to praise the boys because they're doing well. As promised, 20 minutes to go. A couple more changes. Vasic can come off and have a rest. Obanski can come on for him. Given that Kowal's not having his best game ever, uh, Radielli can come on and have a run on the right-hand side, get some game time into him. And I think I will take off a Dopo and we'll bring on Ratnik. And then for our final change, the only real option we've got because Chiara's not good enough to play in this league anymore, Segre will come on for Walu shortly, I think. Planning ahead. But we'll do that with about 10 minutes to go. If we can get another goal before then, that would be awesome. But it looks like we've just taken our foot off the pedal a little bit. Maybe I praise them too soon. And yeah, as discussed, Segre comes on. Walu comes off. That will do nicely. All our changes. Perotzi's tiring, but he's on a 7.6. He'll be fine. He can power through. Plus, he had three weeks off because of his stupid suspension. So I don't want to hear any whining from him about being tired. He's had quite enough of a holiday. Thank you very much. Time to get back to work. Andre from range. Plays it in and picks up an assist for Saide. He's got his second of the game. I don't even know if Saide is his name. Saide, Saide, doesn't matter. He scored. And Evandre's come on the pitch and picked up a lovely assist. Good vision from him. Plays it across. Lovely weighted pass. Plays it perfectly. And Saide with the finish. And that secures three points for us. One point behind Juventus. Unless we've got shenanigans happening here. No, it's fine. No bit of panic. I wasn't panicking. You were panicking. Everything's fine. Bit of injury time. Clock ticks over. And there we go. We've narrowed the gap, put all the pressure on Juventus, who have got one more game than us to play, obviously, with the Europa League final. If they win that and they get a Champions League spot, which, of course, is the other piece of the puzzle, we should get theirs in the league, which would be enormous. Let's just give everybody... Some props, a dominant performance from Saidi, a good run out from Vasic with his goal, uh, Walu, Maturo, anyone below a 7.5 can have a very happy, and everybody else can have one bit of props better than that. And that'll do, oh, Evandro with his assist, of course, very happy, good work off the bench which I should have been doing all season because he has been playing better and he's been more consistent coming off the bench than he has playing up front all season. The other thing I do want to show you before we speed off, let's just check in with all the news that's fit to rake here. Uh, we've turned dominance into victory, which is lovely. We'll give Sadie his second pat on the head in as many minutes because he did really well. That's all good. Uh, Brunori, who we sold because he wasn't good enough for this league, the fear, of course, is that he goes off somewhere else and absolutely smashes it. He didn't. 26 appearances this season, so he hasn't played every game, and he's got four goals, a uh, 6.54. So I am completely vindicated and justified for moving Brunori on. We definitely upgraded, as demonstrated by the fact that kuol has got 14 goals this season, and it's a lovely thing. This is a screen I've never really looked at. I recently discovered it. It's got a lot of numbers on it. So there you go. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, we'll check in and see how Juve get on in their uh, Europa League final, which hopefully they win. That would be great for us. And and after that, we'll get into the match at home for our final game of the season against Sassuolo. Fricktool's out for four to five weeks. That's our goalkeeper. Um... Hoop. Welcome to game day and things got very interesting. Didn't have any news about Juventus because they lost the Europa League final to Aston Villa. Uh, I believe they lost it 1-0. I'll just double check that. But also of importance to us, they drew against Como, which we already talked about. If they draw or lose against Monza and we can get a victory against Sassuolo, we are going to the Champions League, which would be amazing. But no guarantees of that. We need to show up on the day and get the job done. We also had a news report through that Dicciara, remember him? He's not played all season. This guy, we'll move him down the pecking order a little bit. Uh, he's retiring. He's decided. 
uh, at the end of the season. He was here on loan when we arrived. Uh, it still was made permanent. There was nothing permanent. Permanent. There was nothing we could do about it. Never wanted him in the first place. He's an old man. But uh, he's retiring, so, you know, we'll, we'll do a thing. Why not? Uh, your squad for today's game. Youngdale is in goal because Fructal, as you saw, injured, which is disastrous. As a result, I'm not going attacking with the fullbacks. We're going with the uh, defensive version of the tactic. Gallo, Maturo, Mercandali, and Perotti at the back with Walu and Dopo as the defensive midfielders. Walu free to get forward a little bit more. Dopo staying back. Saidi, Vasic, and Chayuna as our wingers and central mid attacking CAM, whatever you want to call it, and Garan Kowal up front. Hopefully everybody shows up and we can get a result, put all the pressure on Juve and hopefully they bottle it massively and we take their Champions League spot from them. It would be glorious. Uh, let's just say a win on this final day could secure qualification for the Champions League if results elsewhere go our way. I wish you all the best of luck. I like that one. Outstretched arms. No. Uh, point your finger. Yeah, there we go. Nobody cares. Pump the fist. We'll tell them what will make a difference, which hopefully they will. Just don't screw it up, boys. Just get the job done. I don't even think, given uh, results earlier in the season, that a draw would be enough if Juve lost. We'd be level on points. I've got a better goal difference, and I think the head-to-head's dead level as well. From memory, no idea, to be honest. Regardless, we just need to do our bit. And pick up a win. We've had three shots, two on target, with no attacking highlight. That usually means we're about to see something from Sassuolo ridiculous. They score a goal and break our collective hearts. We do not need the league table at this point. We need the latest scores. Juve are drawing. So we need a result, lads. Come on. Where are my boys? Where's Garing? Where's Vasic? Where's Chuna? This is at the wrong end of the pitch. Not it went in to score, and that's a disaster. The flag is up, though. It's not going to count. Thank you, Mr. Linesman. Best 50 quid I ever spent. I didn't drive the linesman. That'll never be an option in the game. Anyone asking for it's a crazy person. But that is a warning shot, and we need to capitalise on these chances that we've not been allowed to see. They're definitely offside. So, right call, linesman. Good job. But come on, lads. Get it together. Here's Wally. Don't do anything stupid. Dopo plays it back to Maturo. Back to the dope, out to Gallo. It's free to get forward a little bit. Saidi trying to make a run. Gets cut off. Vasic is fouled there, but Koala's in and Koala's scored. That's a lovely strike right before half time. It's a good time to score, don't you know? But he's done super well there. Good work from everybody involved. Gallo up to Saidi, who rides this challenge, plays it around to Vasic, who is definitely fouled. Doesn't matter. Koala's hit it, gone for the far post. It's taken a deflection, wrong for the goalkeeper. And we take a very, very important 1-0 lead. And Monza are beating Palmer, as seen stand. Bernoulli didn't score, but Warner did, and we had Warner here on loan not a million years ago. So he knows what side his bread is butted. He's just saying, hey, DP, remember me? Could have scored you this goal. Doesn't matter, I've got Garen Kowal. We are controlling possession. Good work, everybody. I'm not going to say anything else while we're all in the green. Let's just keep on keeping on doing what we've got to do. But as things stand, everything is going our way. We've got a corner. Chuna plays it in. Everyone's rising, including the goalkeeper, sadly. And he puts his big, ugly, gloved hands all over the precious. Yeah, precious. It's a really bad goal and impression, in case you couldn't figure that one out. Uh, everybody's missed that. And that is just amateur hour at the back. We're about to pay for it. Yongdal with a good save. We need a big performance from him in the second half because they're going to throw everything out. Confirmation that we've moved up to fourth as things stand. That's a poor header. I believe that's going for a corner. We need to do a bit more work in terms of clearing our lines here. Chuyun has been disappointing. He's on a 6.6. Not a disaster by any stretch. Played the ball out wide. And former Palermo alumni, Hugo Satelli, looking to cause us some trouble. But the highlight ends. Still, only the one shot from Sassuolo, but they are pushing now. And again, we need to be on our toes. It's just gone around and says, Barati guy's a problem. We need to deal with that. That's a cheeky little back heel, and that's a great save from Lundell. I think we're just gonna back off and go to a positive mentality here. And hopefully that settles the defenders down a little bit. That's a wild save from Yongdal. Dramatic punch away, but it's done the job. He got it up to our attacking player. And that highlight just drifted away. 
as did the danger. But again, it's been all Sassuolo in this second half. We've definitely taken the foot off the pedal and we're struggling to string the passes together and mount any kind of attacking threat. And we need to, we need to keep the pressure on. That's good work from Adopo to take the ball away. Saidi now heading out wide, looking for an option, plays it in and Saidi scores. Maybe we will keep him around for another season because he's just made me eat my words. Adopo plays it through, Saidi. I wasn't sure what was going on here, if he was going to look for the cross in the corral, but he's gone himself. He's missed his challenge. Great strike, 2-0 now to Palermo and one foot into the Champions League, which is just stupid. Everything about this season has been really, really stupid. <laughs> and I can't explain it. Evandro's coming on, Corolla's gonna go out on the right-hand side because he's a three and a half star player out there now, which is amazing. Uh, the, the romantic in me would like to bring Dechiara on at the end of the game and we might just do that but not right now I think I will throw on De Grosso uh, or Del Grosso I should say as the advanced playmaker just to fill in that hole and that'll do for now a couple more changes in about 10 minutes time now that we've got the youngsters swinging and mixing around but we just need to not mess up from here. Just don't do anything stupid and keep the ball up this end of the pitch. So he's in again with a lovely strike from the edge of the area. He's into double digits now on the last day of the season. It's his 10th goal for the season and it was a lovely strike. I just said keep the ball up this end and he's put it about as far away as he could without it going out of play. Right on the edge of the penalty box. Boom, top corner. Good night. We're off to Europe catch you all on the flip side because Monza are still winning which is awesome for us right what the heckity heck are we going to do here I will bring on Abansky for Valukowicz and he can just stay there and play as the uh uh what is that Segundo Volante why not you can do that and uh as much as I want to make another change, we really don't need to. Everything's going quite well. So we'll hang on to the last couple, which will be Di Chiara. We'll throw him on to say farewell. And uh, we'll judge the other substitution by who, whoever's in the red at that point in time with a few minutes to go, just to wind down the clock. But I think we're there. Juve need to score at least two goals to spoil our day. And I don't think they've got it in them. Their wheels have just come off. I think the defeat in the Europa League final was too much for them to bear. So Gallo can come off a final hurrah for Gianluca Di Chiara, who did help us out. He wasn't awful. He's certainly not the worst player I've ever signed in Football Manager, and I didn't even sign him. And uh, Radielli, the lone can come on for the last four minutes. We're going to praise the boys because this has been one for the ages. And I'm pretty sure this is the first time Palermo will have ever competed in the Champions League, which is awesome. And we've earned it. Oh, oh, De Grosso is in, the youngster. He's 18 years old, and that's the second of the season. He's done that before. He's done it now. And I think it might have been a, an assist from Evandro. And we'll have another look. He's ready, Ellie, into Evandro. Spots the run, plays it through. Uh, no, it was just an absolute balls up from the defenders. We've ruined them today. 4-0 on the last day of the season. That's how you guarantee yourself a Champions League spot, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Vonner, for your efforts in helping us out. But we've jumped Juventus and we've only gone and done it. Qualified for the Champions League. Saidi's played a huge role in that, which was fantastic. Kowal played well. Again, uh, yep, very happy. And Jungdahl stepping in at the death was excellent. A 7.9, keeps a clean sheet. He's earned himself our backup keeper spot, that's for sure. And he should get his call up for Poland now. And he can stop whinging to me about it. He needs to realise I don't actually pick that team. I don't get a vote. It's not a lot I can do. Especially when Fructal has been in the form of his life. But that is our season. And we should hopefully get confirmation here in just a second that we're off to the Champions League. Dominant win for Rossanero. 
Paloma confirm our best ever Serie A finish. We were a surprise package, and uh, we did rise to third, but we've, there it is. Palomo qualified for Champions League. We are smashing Project Palomo, and that is amazing. I can see the budgets there. I haven't missed it, but first we're going to give Saidi a pat on the head for the second game running, which hasn't happened all season. That's awesome. Inter have been crowned champions. Congratulations to them. Well deserved. Milan uh, did throw it away with a loss to Inter in the previous round of matches. Nine million quid for finishing fourth is a huge chunk of money. And that's great because we were in the red just quietly. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. And we do have our budgets. Where did they go? I've clicked on the wrong thing there. Done myself a mischief. Uh, board set initial budgets. We need 10 million quid. Easy to add what we need to the squad. That's not ideal, is it? <laughs> so a bit of an increase to wage budget and we get to keep what we've got in terms of transfers. It's not enough. It's nowhere near enough. And we are going to have to move some players on, I think, to do what we need to do. That said, we've got some bodies coming in. We'll deal with that later. I don't know if there will be a transfer special or not. Because just quietly, no one's really checking them out. They're very long videos and they're difficult to make. They're kind of boring. We might jump straight into the season in the next episode. We will see. If you would like to see the transfer special, let me know down in the comments on this video or anything previously. I would love to gauge the interest on sitting through a transfer special, recording all the ins and outs, or if we just do a summary when we start the season. Let me know, please in the comments and that's not even a, a grab for algorithmic shenanigans help just help that was an emotional roller coaster and i am absolutely exhausted but if you've had a good time if you've enjoyed this season and you want to let the world know how amazing project palomo is hit the like button subscribe to the channel leave comments on every single video you can preferably mine that'd be awesome and until next time when we start preparing for the Champions League campaign, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Ballet ball, ballet ball, ballet ball.